switch over um, to this completely online format. And I am physically here, but I figured you would rather look at these river otters that are playing instead of my face. Um, so all of the changes I'm going to talk about, you have access to. So uh, I'm mainly just giving another another mode of um, of information. Um, so we will head over there. <clears throat> what are those otters? Okay. Um, so the really big change is that we're switching over to modules. So before you looked at your syllabus, you saw what we were doing, you'd have come to class, and you would find out what our tasks were that day and, and like receive assignments verbally. So that's obviously changing. And maybe you have some experience in other classes that have started running that use modules. I actually really like them. And even after all of this hot nonsense is over, I think I'm going to start using these modules because I think it's more organized for you too. So the syllabus right now is in shambles. Um, I am going to try to, I'm going to work on it more today. And so that should be up. You'll see it in this very first module. So the modules are just these little boxes. Um, you can minimize them or, you know, uh, expand them. Um, and there's going to be one for each week. And so uh, similar to a regular traditional class, you're going to show up on, on Tuesday and Thursday, check the module because there's going to be different things that are posted each day. Um, so so we are not having a synchronous class. So perhaps you do have classes that are meeting over Zoom. Um, that just doesn't work for us. A lot of you guys are international. A lot of you guys ended up flying, you know, back to where your family is to quarantine and to stay indoors. And um, I just think it adds a lot more stress. And so the trade-off is that there's a, a little bit more um, complexity to you know, sort of following up with assignments, but I'm going to be sending out reminders and there's going to be a lot more flexibility also with things like due dates because uh, I basically just want us to produce some good work. Um, so first thing first, go first things first, go to this first module, which is the adjusting to this bonkers transition module. Um, and then there's three pages that are super helpful for you. I still need to publish this guy. Um, keep in mind, this is the, the instructor view. So yours might look a little bit different. Um, the first page is overview of changes. The main takeaway, I'm uh, explaining sort of the two main values that I want to focus on because um, I've heard a lot of defeatist language um, about how, oh, you're, you can't replicate your class and it's not going to be as good. And I think that's obvious. I don't think any of us are going to be our best selves right now. Um, and you know, myself or you, we have other things that we're thinking about. And so I try to boil this class down to two main uh, values. Um, that I can strive for. Um, two main goals. One is just creating the small community space so we can continue working on our uh, oratorical awareness, our critical thinking, and then also to just work with you guys individually with your writing. If you guys could leave this class a little bit better writers, that's great. And so a lot of our corporate um, or collective discussion as a class is going to exist more in a one-on-one -on -one platform. So you guys are going to be meeting with me in whatever form works for you for every piece of writing that you turn in. Um, so in many cases, this is better. And, and this is more of what I kind of wish we were able to do uh, regularly of just meeting for drafting every time. That's what UCI does. And I find it to be super, super effective because you can, you know, we can work together on your specific writing because obviously people have different needs. <clears throat> um, so I go through those changes. So no webcam classes. We are going to have technically two class sessions, which is going to be the writing lab. So on Tuesdays and on Thursdays, check back. There's going to be a new quote unquote lesson there uh, with some tasks. Um, starting next Thursday, I say Thursday, but probably Tuesday, um, I will be open for live video chats during our regular regularly scheduled class time so if you are just missing human interaction or you're really lost or you really wanted to talk about the text from that day or something you can um you can you know call in uh and i'll just be sitting here with my coffee um i think i covered all of this stuff so go back under modules so what's nice about modules is that you don't even have to click most of this stuff. You don't even have to go to discussions. You could just go to modules and go straight there. So the main assignments that are new to try to replace some of the stuff we have in the classroom, I put those in um, 
in orange and the SA1 revision memo that hasn't changed but obviously we left in the middle of that so we're doing a lot of backtracking over the next two weeks so we're replacing our sort of class lectures with writing labs so that may be a Prezi that I record over it may be just a short post so today's is just a short post with a couple um, discussion questions um, it could be a video and have you guys respond to it so there's more information if you click on writing lab I explain that a little bit more um, and so each of these you have a couple days to finish so it's kind of like you get a tiny assignment that might be a full class discussion it could be a sort of a journaling um, activity it could be a couple questions I just want you to answer and send back to me on on your own um, but those Tuesday's classroom posts says classroom I should say writing lab because I changed the name are due by Thursday so you guys have an assignment right now um, it's just two short discussion questions and those will be due by class time on Thursday and then Thursday's posts are due Sunday so you have a little bit more time um, but there's it seems weird to have something due on a Saturday so to replace the small group discussion specifically about our readings uh, we're also going to have another discussion post so you guys are going to be grouped into um, like about three to four people um, and you'll have a question a couple questions um, and you guys will talk about it as a book club um, so same kind of, of um, post and then those groups change so if you get really tired of each other you can just know that you'll change into a new group uh, the last one is the good vibes bulletin board so I made this five percent of your grade just share something that made you happy that week it could be something you witnessed it could be a great recipe that you made it could have been something somebody cooked for you it could be a meme it could be a video it could be a show that you want to tell people about just whatever post it there um, and so we're we're just sort of sharing things casually like we probably would in class anyways so I'm going to go back over to the modules I know this is a longer video it's optional for you to watch uh, the typical week schedule is here too and I don't know why it's all adjusted to the right but it gives you an idea of like typically this is what our week is going to look like you uh, this week is going to look a little different. I'm not going to have the, the book club this week because we're just getting used to it. So this blue, we're not going to have to. Um, so you can use this as a guide of, of you know, what you can expect. I want to keep things pretty much the same so that you know that there's a routine so that when you check uh, Canvas on Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday midday, you're like, okay, yeah, I know that I'm going to have, you know, two writing labs this week. I know I'm still going to have my DEJs. I know that I'm going to have a book club and the good vibes board. So uh, this gives you an idea of, of what to expect there. And if there's something that's going to be canceled, um, I'll let you know. So I may take out the book club some weeks. Um, sometimes the writing lab is going to be more like peer editing. If we're doing conferencing, um, that day of class is just out so I just spend that day of class meeting with you guys um, <clears throat> so right now you have oops wrong one uh, you have your first module up which looks like this and so I just want to give you a little bit of a preview I have all the weeks um, just sort of sitting in the wings here I still have to add some stuff on here and, and fix it up obviously um, but you'll a new one of these will be published each week um, other than the final drafts you'll see when those are due uh, so this week we uh, or for today we just have our writing lab and then the good vibes board this is due on um, on Sunday so you have a little bit um, our writing lab if you go into it it's a graded discussion you get 10 points that's uh, you're just graded sort of on thoroughness um, <clears throat> and uh, read through this gives you a little bit of overview and um, there's a couple tasks on here literally one of our tasks is just like do you have questions please ask so you'll notice there's this guy right here. Um, this is not something you have to complete. Every week we're going to have a new little forum of questions. So you can go in and post a question, especially if it's something general, something about Canvas, something about due dates, something about the content, if something's confusing that I've written. Um, we all benefit from, from hearing those questions. Uh, and I assume that you're not going to be the only one who has it. So if it's obviously something personal or something about your grade or, or a specificity with your assignment, then that makes more sense over email um, but please post questions I'm not gonna know that things aren't going well unless you let me know 
Um, I look forward to seeing your posts on Writing Lab. Please reach out. If you're confused, I, I'm super open to um, connecting with you guys individually. If you want to walk through it together, that's fine. So it's really crucial that you communicate with me. I'm going to do my best to communicate with you guys because I miss you so much. Um, all right, over and out.